What's up YouTube? Let's get right into the video. Make sure you guys like the channel and subscribe to the YouTube channel gang. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers gang. Get me up to 2 million subscribers gang. Right now we're at 527. Yo, I'm going to need everybody to subscribe and like this video. Let's go. Robbing someone always comes with a risk because there's a 50-50 chance that it could go good or bad. But here's what happens when thieves pick the wrong person to rob. Starting with the man who stole someone's laptop, ID, and all of his personal belongings. It seems like the man was going to try to use the person's stuff to commit fraud or something. But the dude who the stuff belonged to ended up catching up with the thief and pressed him since he found out that the dude stole it. Yo, these are the real scums of the planet, bro. Me, I, I would never steal from somebody, bro. I, I, I'd rather get it myself, you know? A slow hustle is better than no hustle, bro. These niggas just don't want to work. This nigga's trying to do fraud. This nigga still looks like a fucking bum. Like, come on, bro. Like, this nigga's a demon. He's a fucking demon. This stuff. The thief was saying that it was an accident and that he was sorry that he stole the man's stuff since he knew that he had stolen it from the wrong person. That's crazy, bro. This is what I did. And the thing about it, bro, is, 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 bro, like, they don't know that they're fucking up the other person at the end, bro, because they gotta use that money to pay for their shit. And they gonna get put out homeless if they can't pay the rent, gang, so you gotta think about that. You know what I'm saying? That's what? That's you, bro. That's you, bro. Who's an ID? Who's an ID? The thief even admitted to everyone that it wasn't his ID or belongings. And after that, the man swung at him since he was pissed that he tried stealing from him. And from there, they got into a little tussle with each other since the man was pissed. Boy, he don't really want it. You took it already. You ain't try, you did it. That's crazy. This nigga's a bum. This next thief wasn't so lucky and barely made it out alive. A porch pirate pulled up in a silver SUV and walked up to the person's driveway so he could try bro, to steal the package. Porch pirate. Uh, oh my god, bro. I have some fucking crazy stories, bro. I got some crazy stories. Me and my niggas used to do some shit back in the day. I ain't gonna say too much. <laughs> Yo, bro, niggas almost got shot, gang. Niggas almost got shot. <laughs> there on the porch but the thief didn't expect what was coming next because the old man was watching the whole thing on his ring camera and did this nigga brought out that ak bro Yo, where the fuck this nigga get an AK from? Where this nigga get an AK from, bruh? Nah, I need one of them shits, bro. I need one of them shits, bro. That's how you let a nigga know, bro. I need it. I need to own an AR-15. I need to. I need to get my hands on that. A, a, a Glock, a handgun is cool. You know what I'm saying? But once you have an AR, it's a, it's a whole different type of defense game. A whole different type of defense game, all right? whole different type of defense bro you know man that's just the way to go that's the move you know nigga got frightened honestly if i was a thief i would have just dropped the package right there bro. i would even go back and drop that shit go to the whip that's crazy because his man's left him too see his man's left him Wait, where was the car that he pulled up with that nigga left bro that nigga left Thankfully, the older man didn't end up taking the man because this could have ended a lot nigga worse. Left. The thief. Things did turn out. Bro, he dipped on his mans, bro. Fake AC, bro. Thieves have no honor. That's why you don't steal. Especially when you do crime with other people. Pretty bad for this next man. We did something similar because this next thief tried stealing someone's Amazon package, but didn't know it was an ex-marine who lived at the house. So the ex-marine set up a booby trap in the package to teach the thief a lesson about stealing. Yo, 
That's a flashbang. Oh my god, he shit himself. Yo, this nigga put a fucking flash grenade in that shit. He, he did some Call of Duty shit, bro. And this next thief, though, thought he picked the right person to rob. But what he didn't what know was fuck? that he made a big mistake and got humiliated for robbing someone. Because the thief broke into one of the construction workers' stuff. So they did this to oh him until God. the police arrived. Bro, they tied this man up. Have you guys called the police? This tie they tied this man up, bro. Tied this nigga up. How do you how did they even catch him? Thief let the dude know that he wasn't exactly breaking into anything and that he was just checking everything out, which is a lie. So the workers continued to tie him up until the cops arrived, so he couldn't run away. I think that he got his jays in his wallet. That's tough. Thankfully, the dudes took it light on him and didn't harm him for breaking into his stuff. But I can't say the same about the next person. This next man embarrassed the thief who broke into his car in front of everybody in the store. Since the thief was wearing his clothes and all. That's crazy. <laughs> Play the official PC version of Clash of Clans. He was wearing his clothes. Jordans, you wearing, you wearing my Mercedes last night? This is a my...